And those Eagles of Eastern Michigan, we talked about that heartbreaker last week. They get beat 30-29. This man goes for a two-point conversion with less than a minute left. He said, hey, not a doubt in my mind, my kids want to win. We're about winning here. We go for two to win at home or anywhere early in the year. I think it makes a great statement for what he's trying to accomplish here. He's trying to turn this program around, and the only way to do that is to win football games. So he went for it. He came up short, but I think he makes a statement to his team. Hey, we're going to go for it, and that's it. Ron Cooper in his second year here in Ypsilanti went four and seven a year ago. Came out of the gate winning three consecutive MAC contests. There's the little one in one of the uh, the top 15 in the nation in all-purpose offense. I told you about him in our open. Stevie Clay, Derek Shoreyes has got it teed up, and we're on go. Stevie Clay from about the three. Trying to find a seam across that 20 in about the 21-yard line. He's finally taken down as the Falcons bowling work on the special team. Charlie Williams on the hit. All right, let's take a look at our LCI starting lineup. That offensive line gets Kevin Beverly back, the fifth-year senior, to join Matt Gillette. These are the two stalwarts for Cooper on the offensive line. Taking a look at the backs and receivers, Michael Armour is your quarterback, of course. He's got Johnny Rice at the fullback. Stephen Whitfield, two consecutive 100-yard games in a row on the ground. Steve Clay and Bristol Green, quality wideouts. Ryan Wheatley, the tight end. Michael Armour, first to 10, Eastern Michigan from the 21. Shifting in that backfield. Savon Edwards at the tail. Armour wants to put it up early. Look out, football is free. Armour trying to get back on it inside the 10. We'll wait and see. Michael Armour took a pop from Chachet Leal, and Bowling Green says they have the football. No signal yet from referee Don Amico. Chachet Leal came in and put a huge hit on Michael Armour. Armour never saw him. Leal beat his man around the corner, and uh, he was... Uh, Armour was getting ready to throw the ball, had the ball out there. Let's take a look at it. You see in there, now he gets that ball out there. Look at right here, he's got it back to throw, and that's when Leal hits him, and the ball's loose, and no one, Leal didn't even see it, Mike. That's going to make it second and 21 as Chachi Leal, one of those linebackers in Paul Ferraro's defense, comes up big. Triple wides now for Michael Armour. Eastern Michigan got to burn a timeout early as this offense, obviously, a little bit confused. Let's take a look. I mentioned Paul Ferraro. The defensive coordinator at Bowling Green. Let's take a look at his defense. They play out of a 3-4, uh, if you will. Greg Sepek, that defensive end, sometimes stands up as a linebacker. Dave Brahowski is at nose guard. And you got Curtis Collins at a defensive tackle for Ferraro's offense. You just, defense, excuse me, you just saw Chachi Leal, that outside linebacker, making a hit on Michael Armour. Jason Woolard and Vince Palco, the inside backers, two of the best in the Mid-American Conference. And on the outside, Willie Gibson. And that secondary, George Johnson on the corner with Tony Everhart. Everhart with a couple of interceptions. And Charlie Williams gets the call at free safety for a hurting Steve Rodriguez. And the true freshman, Chioki Bradley. He is an athlete and a talent. Watch him at the strong safety as Ron Cooper probably a little bit perplexed having to take that time out early on. Second and 21, Michael Armour with the, the offense for Eastern Michigan. There you see Armour on the ear. Like to get that touchdown number up closer in line with the interceptions. Motion out of Whitfield. Long count from Armour. Threw that quick out to Stephen Whitfield. Missed from Eastern Michigan early on, coming up with a third and long. Well, they look rattled right now. They didn't want to come out of the blocks, uh, starting to drive and starting the ball game this way. I don't know if someone got a hand on that ball or if Armour just uh, made a bad throw. Not a good start for the Eagles here. This is the thing that Ron Cooper and offensive coordinator Richard Wilson wanted to avoid. They wanted to get Michael Armour off early. He's a guy that... As he did last week against Central Michigan, he'll grow in confidence if he starts hitting some things early on. Bristol Green wide out to the left as you see the trips for Armour. Got to come up big on third and 21. Throws that out route to Stevie Clay. Clay lost the football but was out of bounds before he did at the 21-yard line. So Eastern Michigan got about 10 back to the initial line of scrimmage. Well, that's going to bring up fourth and long for the Eagles. Yeah, I think what they're trying to do there is just get some field position to, to punt the ball. As we take another look at it here, Armour, a good pass out to Flat to Clay. He, he has a chance here as the defensive back out there falls down. That's Tony Everhart, but uh, he gets up in time to make the play. Jake Garziola, you see the young man out of Fraser, Michigan. His numbers this year, he's hit one for uh, 54 yards. 
Garziola, low line drive, trying to get it to turn over. Ronnie Red from the 41. Watch out for Red's speed. He got knocked down at about the 49-yard line. That hit for Eastern Michigan came from Michonne Adams. Adams, the uh, defensive back who also plays on specials, takes Ronnie Red down after an eight-yard return. Bowling Green in outstanding field position as Ryan Henry in this Bowling Green offense come on the gridiron as you take a look at this Eastern Michigan offense that was a, a bit ineffective a moment ago. At Bowling Green offense, Chad Buki, Sean George, Cal Bowers, Bob Johnson, Big Jason Peters starting in his 24th consecutive contest for Blackney's Ball Club. We'll check the others in a moment. Ronnie Red has caught the first pass of the contest and on the move up the left sideline. Ronnie Red early on has now established a new record at Bowling Green. They got it done early. He's caught at least one pass in 38 consecutive contests and he's excited about it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's some good company to be in, I guess. Um, I guess the one thing I take pride in is just, you know, for the last uh, 37, 38 games of just being here and coming out and, uh, you know, doing something for the team every week. You know, I can say that I've done that if it's just been one catch, you know, which in some instances it has been, you know, it's been six or seven, I can say, you know, I, I, you know, I made something happen for the guys and stuff. So it is, it's, it's a... Um, something I'm very proud of. It's, it's a, a nice accomplishment. It'll be nice to look back in a few years on what I've done and stuff. So I'm excited about it. Ronnie Red, senior, fifth year. Terrific young man, exceptional athlete out of Uber Heights way now. Has caught at least one pass in 38 consecutive contests for BG. Getting a pat from Scott Seeliger there. Falcons just had a Courtney Davis run uh, go for a minus two. So BG's coming up second and 12 from Eastern's 40. Ryan Henry at the throttle off play action. Zips it into the middle, too tall for Ramir Martin. So Ryan Henry, who has been exceptional in terms of what he's done passing efficiency-wise, fourth in the nation as we talked about. Let's check this Bowling Green offensive uh, backfield, the skilled people. Ryan Henry, your quarterback, the junior out of Kent McKinley. Darius Card's a fullback. Uh, of course, we see that uh, the tailback is... Michael Partner or Keelan Keys or Courtney Davis. Eastern Michigan defensive line you saw a moment ago. Reese McCaskill, the best of the backers with Wardell Davis and Devon Battle and the secondary of Eastern Michigan. Ryan Henry looking at third and 12. Henry again to put it up. Wide open left sideline is tight end Ryan McElroy. First down and more inside the 30 down to about the 25-yard line. That's good for about 15 yards and a Bowling Green first down for Ryan McElroy, his eighth catch of 1994. Boy, when they get McElroy in there, you know they're going to throw the ball, particularly on third and long. They spread them out real good, and they caught Eastern in a, in a three-deep zone. And uh, we're going to take a look from the end zone on this now and, and show you what, what I'm talking about here is the, the three deep. See the corner back here. He's get, giving up a little bit too much ground, and he doesn't have the time to come up and stop this short of a first down. That's what you call a lot of cushion over there Big on the cushion. corner from Eric Thompson. Bowling Green on the move. First and 10 from Eastern's 26. Ryan Henry, the trigger man. This is a first man through Michael Parker. Parker, who had three touchdowns last week, bangs his way down to about the 22-yard line. The hit came from Dennis Parker. Parker, uh, one of the defensive tackles in Ron Cooper's front four. That's what the Eagles are going to have to try to do is shut down that run on the first down and get, get Bowling Green into a passing mode and then try to make a big play on a third down situation. That Falcon offensive line, again, as you see the homecoming crowd here in Ypsilanti. Yuki, George, Bowers, Johnson, and Jason Peters left to right. Second and five from the 21. Henry wants to put it up. On that outcut, he's got Ramir Martin right about the 10-yard line and banged out of bounds. Martin was knocked out of bounds by Vashon Adams over there. But for Ramir Martin on the year, that is catch uh, number 10 for the Fleet one out of that great football tradition rich program at Massillon Washington High School. Great program down there. And, uh, the, the Eagles are giving them too much room here. You see, you watch these uh, backs, defensive backs. They're going to backpedal and get out of there. There's too much of a cushion there. And Martin does a good job of getting the first down yardage. Gets out of bounds about the 10-yard line. Well, the Falcons of Bowling Green now working on first and goal just inside the 10. Card and Parker out of the eye. Tall sweep. This is Michael Parker. Can he get the corner? Got it a bit, but got pushed out of bounds. Reese McCaskill, that middle linebacker for Ronnie Cooper's Eagles that we talked about, helped to escort Parker out of bounds along with Devon Battle. 
Yeah, Wardell Davis actually made this play for the Eagles, though.